Hey, how's it going? My name's Anthony. This is a VO's journey. I'm going to talk to you tonight about how to find your voiceover niche. Uh, I know when I first started out, that was a real challenge for me. I, I didn't know what to do when it came to figuring out where I should you know, audition. What should I go for? Should I do commercials? Should I do radio? Um, should I do audiobooks or e-learning? Um, you know, what in the world is, is the, what is, what is IVR? All that stuff just around in my head and not knowing what to do. So I wanted to make a video tonight, uh, about how I think would be a great way for you to find your niche, uh, and, and voiceover. And the, the reality is, is that you need to get out there and try as much as possible. When you're first starting out, you can't possibly know where you want to go. Now, when I first started, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do character work because I'd always enjoyed doing funny voices. I, I loved it. But at the same time, I had never done character work or any voiceover work with a microphone. And it's quite different getting up on stage and doing character work than it is behind a mic. And one of the reasons, uh, because you can actually... You know, I'm not saying you can mask your voice, but you can use your body. You can't really hide behind your body <laughs> with it, with your your voice when you're doing um, you know character work in a microphone. So you know, I didn't know what to do. So I just started trying everything, and I got into audiobooks, and I found that I started getting hired. But here's the thing: when I got hired, I started realizing too that I didn't like what I was reading, like, or it was very difficult. It was challenging. And I felt always like there was an issue. And maybe you try something and you feel like, well, I don't really like this, or it's really challenging for me. I, I, it, I don't like reading out loud for period, long periods of time, or I, I would rather do an audio book because the short stuff is just, I can't get into it. I don't know what to do. I do better on character work on long form. So what I realized was about mm, a couple of months into doing audio books, I got a book deal and I started to read it and, and do everything. And what I found was, is I actually fell in love with a book. I, I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed reading it out loud. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I'm an, I'm an audio book narrator. <laughs> I love it. But then I went back and I read another book, you know, and I, I narrated another book and I was like, oh gosh, this is like, it's heart wrenching trying to get through it. Then what I realized and what I'm trying to say to you is, you know, there's so much in every genre too. Bad writing is bad writing. There's nothing we can do about that. And sometimes you're going to get things that, uh, you know, scripts that are poorly written. That doesn't mean that the genre is bad and that doesn't mean you're not meant for it. It just means that, you know, maybe that particular script didn't do what you hoped it would do. And it was really hard. I've done, I've done a lot of books and a lot of them have been like just grueling to get through. But it's interesting, the, the more I do, and the, the more of like a higher level I get, I can kind of choose different ones. I can look at different ones and see, you know, and, and it, that changes. But when I first started, you know, I was doing a lot of books that were just, you know, poorly written, just being pumped out. And, but I did them and it was a great learning experience. But then I did a lot of character work. I did commercial work. I did uh, radio stuff, uh, e-learning. I did everything. So the, the thing here is I want you to do is when you're trying to figure out your niche, branch out and try everything. You know, Earl Hall, uh, one of my mentors says all the time that, um, you know, when you are trying to figure out your niche, do as much work as you can. And the market will tell you what you should be doing by the way they are hiring you and reacting to you. I want to add something onto that though, because you can't take away your personal element of what you want to do. Maybe you really do at your heart want to be a character actor. You know, maybe you want to do video games, but every time you try to do video games or you audition or you, you try to find somebody, you know, you're, you're not getting work. But over here, you just seem to be getting work. E-learning just loves you to death and they want you to be the e-learning mascot. But you really want to be over here doing, you know, evil character voices. You cannot fight what you want. And I'm going to tell you, don't fight what you want. But this is a business. And you go, you're going to have to do this over here, like the e-learning, in order to get better at the character work. because or, or you can decide, because it's your business, not to do this over here.
and just to do the character work. But here's the thing. If you make that decision, live with your decision, meaning that you might not get hired for some time over here because maybe the industry is telling you that, you know what, we know you want to do this, but you're going to have to get a little better at this before we're willing to hire you. So, you know, that you got to take your cues from what's happening. You know, it's not going to come out and say it, but they're going to say it in different ways. Um, I used to own a restaurant. And, you know, as I, I went through trying to figure out customers and everything like this, you know, I realized is that the nine times out of 10, think about this. When you go to a poor restaurant, you don't always say something. Matter of fact, we don't hardly ever say anything about how bad the restaurant was or the food. But what do we do? We say how bad it was because we never come back. All right. And we're, 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 we're saying what's happening, but we're saying it in a different way. You need to take those same cues from the market and what's happening with you. If you're trying something really hard and it's not working, make a shift. Try something else. Try a different area. Try IVR. Maybe maybe you're good at you know telephony. <laughs> maybe you're good at messaging. Or right? maybe you are really good at character work. Maybe you're good at medical narration. Maybe you could always do medical narration. That's a huge market because it's difficult. Maybe you're a person who doesn't have a hard time reading medical terms. There's so much out there, and the only way you're going to find your niche is to try it all. But also stay true to who you are, but be aware if you can't get hired in what you want to do at the moment, you're going to have to work at it and accept that it's going to take time. All right. Well, I hope this helps out. I hope this kind of gives you an idea. Branch out. Do as much as possible. See what you want to do. And once you start honing in and getting hired and feeling good about what you're doing, double down and go after that genre. Go after that specific area. Throw all your eggs into one basket. You know, but but remember you're a business. <laughs> so you've got to do the thing sometimes in order to make money to keep your business going. All right. Hope that helps. Y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Peace.